Welcome. Today we are joined by an accomplished triathlete and runner, Riley Smith. Uh, just so you guys can see, a little bit heavier weight, a male body, and I'll be critiquing as we go. We're starting exercise number one is a squat to an overhead press. So elbows will touch the thighs, grab that weight, stand up, grip your butt, and press overhead. 15 of them. Riley has a little bit more weight here. He's going big papa with the, the 24 kilos. Video turned on and he, he got excited to show off for you guys. And you wanna make sure that you can hear your breath. It's a sharp exhale. are getting below the knees, which is what we want to be seeing. Woo. Almost there. And rest. Okay. Kettle swing exercise number two, you're doing 20 with your regular weight. Then we're adding eight repetitions with a heavy weight. So regular would be 20 kilos for Riley. Then we're gonna jump up and do 24. Weight is always in the heels. And this should feel light. It should feel feel easy. You can see the weight sort of has a little swing to it at the top. You should notice a difference when he jumps to heavy weight. Right away. Eight. Keeping them honest, especially when you have a partner to work out with always a benefit. Should hit right to his belly button. And he should set it down in front of him. Very safely like we always talk about here at Windburn Studios. Exercise three is our windmill. So we're grabbing a little lighter weight, just eight kilos for him today. He has not been doing windmill, so Always size down, turn turn those toes slightly out, back leg stays straight. It's an overhead press with the top arm, and then bottom arm reaches down inside of the foot. That knee stays bent the whole time. And then when you're at the bottom, fingertips touch, make sure you're pulling the belly in using that midsection to help get you back up to the top. 12 per side on this one. Arm is locked out the whole time and he should be gazing up to that weight with his bottom knuckles pressing all the way up to the sky. Changing sides, flip that wrist, and drive bottom knuckles. Riley's a very fast runner, so he tends to do his strength very fast as well. Another reason why you should work out with a partner is they can either slow you down or speed you up. Riley will probably speed me up, and I'm going to slow him down a little bit, especially on the way up. Take more time. Go all the way down. Belly in slow on the way up. Especially 
especially if you have trouble counting, having someone there with you when you work out, at least hopefully one of you can keep track of the numbers. So you're grabbing both of your light weight here. We're going into our single leg deadlift. So one leg down, the other leg floats behind you, and then one weight in each hand. Starting with this left leg, and then making sure that this back hip is rotated so your hips are square. And then he's going to stand up, all the way back down, 12 per side. Feeling that standing leg, so Riley's left leg is the working leg. He's starting to open this hip up, so we're going to pull it back down. We shouldn't be reaching towards the ground. So when he goes down, if you need more space, you can either bring the floor up by putting blocks underneath the weight, or you bend your standing leg a little bit more. So we'll see how he does on the second side. He might have a little bit more flexibility through that right leg. Good hips, standing all the way up. little less reach on this side, which just means that that left hamstring is a little tight. Maybe we'll stretch that after this last exercise. Get him a mat. Exercise number five, we're going back a little bit in our workout, and we're doing a chest press, so he'll lay all the way down on his back. Both weight will press over head. We're doing five chest presses. So lay the head all the way down. Get those elbows right outside of the shoulders. Number five, he will keep his arms straight, straighten the legs, and sit all the way up. And then bend one knee at a time out to the side. Pressing overhead, keep that straight spine, legs come back out in front. Get to this position first and then round the back, slowly roll down. You can rest in between sets or go right into five more. One more sit up. knees go to the other side. Back out in front. Slowly roll. And then out to the side. Put the knees into the chest. And the great thing about having a partner here is that Ben, we can high five, is he will come up and take child's pose. And sometimes it's nice to just have a hand to press down to give you a little extra stretch right onto the tailbone, into the middle of the back. And take both hands to the hips.
Riley's slight break. We're going to do that one more time. I invite you to do the same thing. Double up on this set, especially if you felt like the weight wasn't heavy enough. Try to do one more round of it. Maybe increase the weight for chest press sit up. Riley did really good on that one, so I would increase for the next set. And I'll see you guys in the next video.